After being trapped on the Jolly Lamham, obtaining the pirate's power, and joining forces with Captain Gaff, Kutaro nearly cornered Pick and Sheep. The epic chase continues as Kutaro dives to the bottom of the sea. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Down in the depths lived a plethora of mind-numbingly mystical creatures who happened to like their freedom. So, as you might imagine, they and the god of the sea didn't exactly crack open the champagne when the Moon Bear King took over. Well, the tyrant knew a pack of unruly sea monsters could be trouble, so he ordered Generals Pig and Sheep to pollute the Moonshine Sea with magic oil. It transformed the Sea God's servants into dastardly, greedy creatures that devoured everything in their path. As our brave little heroes dove deeper, they found themselves in a world of darkness where the water ran black and sunlight was a distant memory. What is up with this ocean? I'd say I've never seen anything so gross, if I could actually see. In time, the two arrived at an ancient and secret palace at the bottom of the sea. Within it dwelt the gargantuan god whose strength had been all but sapped by the tyrant's arm. <laughs> Oh. Where are we? Oh. Are you okay? Seriously, what is up? Water's up, water's up in the underwater palace. Supposed to be the sea gods and every from greed and malice. Where the water's clean enough to see into the stratosphere. Created natural disasters, not like wore them. Trident! Trident? Oh, like a pointy spear. Pointy spears, pointy spears. Yes, a trident is called a trident. Triple wound and extra wound, the sea goes bright and joy. And pointy spears are something else. A trident could banish evil, but
my poor delicious subjects. Uh, uh, I fear there is no hope. He seems pretty depressed, huh? Hey, squid dudes, are you gonna take us to where the Kraken is? You are? Well, of course you are. Your lives are at stake. Let's book it, Kataro. Scrumptious Ica and Woody, my Impuna and Emmy, and especially my Tori. Oh, and don't forget the Anago and Hotate, and all the other edible white fishes and other fishes. He sure knows his sushi menu. That's my kind of god. I think the squid on point is showing us the way. Attaboy! Give that squid a cookie! I would give anything for one mouth-watering meal. I can't get my mind up all that delicious sushi. Or maybe some calamari. Kutaro was on snack. Uh, excuse me, on track to finding the Kraken and stealing back the God of the Sea's tribe. It was a worthy cause. Picarina could picture the clam baits already. Hey, we're not in this for the seafood. We're in it for some big fat moonstone sharks. Oh, I mean, we're in it because it's like the right thing to do, yeah? Nice try, darling. The God of the Sea's squid carried Kutaro even deeper into the Kraken's briny lair. They had plenty to contend with between a smack of freewheeling jellyfish, treacherous spikes in the terrain, and rocks sharp enough to shave them. As he went deeper into the trench, Kutaro noticed the marine life was getting just a little bit more freaky. Just then, a ferocious fish with a built-in headlight and a nasty set of gnashers decided to crash Kutaro's cruise. It's an anglerfish! Ooh, I bet- Kutaro was in hot water of his own. One after another, he was beset by murderous deep-sea menaces. A crab! Oh, I love crabs! Oh, but I love everything! This is tearing me apart! I want crab, I want anglerfish! Why can't I have the whole menu? The menu was tearing Kutaro apart too, but he fought on, hoping to reach the Kraken soon. The jellyfish, as it turned out, were on the good guy's side. Sure, they didn't know Kung Fu, but they were masters at just sort of floating there, which made them perfect stepping stones for Kutaro. Thanks, jellyfish! I salute you! At long last, Kutaro reached the ocean's darkest depths. With sunlight out of the picture and oily goop mucking up the water, the whole place looked like a sloppy excuse. Suddenly, a shark burst out of the rocks. It was coming right for them. I thought we were fish town. What a nice shark. Taking us through all those moon sparkles. The 
battered remains of a sunken ship lay on the ocean floor. A squadron of squid squiggled so Just then, a giant tentacle menace appeared. It was a squiddle intimidating. Squiddle? Sweet! That was incredible! Wasn't it? Jellyfish, jellyfish, loosened and free. How graceful, how fair, they're adrift in the sea. Why swish a fin? The fish have it worse. Why cling to rocks? That's a barnacle's curse. Food comes to you, you spawn as you please. The poison within you makes defense a breeze. Oh, what I'd give to do nothing so well, to float with a plum and at wafting excel. Jellyfish, jellyfish, lord of the brine. Oh, how I wish that your life were mine. Goopy Oil had done a number on the legendary Kraken, transforming him into a demonic butcher who chopped up the local marine life, gussied up their corpses, and then devoured their flesh raw. Oh, that's hot. Hey, Rachai! What will it be, folks? Ooh, ooh, I'll have tuna. Extra fatty. Tuna, eh? Might I recommend the octopus? No, you may not. I'm placing the order here. Don't tell me what to eat. The customer is always right. I demand service. Then go eat a hamburger, you finish time. Ordering sushi is a choreographed ritual, and you clearly can't dance. Now, get out.
あれとスクイーズおおスリッパに触れたイーンアイアウあファイスティーワンへミスターガーデンのシ
but one. The trident, it will make the ocean blow again, and coral pink, and seaweed green, and every starfish orange. What rhymes with orange? Trident rhymes with orange. It rhymes with everything. It rhymes with everything. Every creature stands in awe before the sea goes on. And the hero of the sea goes in his final song. I am waiting. And the big mouth pixie who insists that she's a sunflower. Scissor wielding hero, thanks to you, the moonshine sea has regained its former splendor. You have my deepest gratitude. Thanks to you, thanks to you, the sea is back to. Shut up, Kutaro! I would like to present you with a party gift. I have filled Calibus with a new power. One I am certain will make your journey easier. The god of the sea placed some of the trident's power in Calibus because he believed Kutaro could hew out a better future. But would he part the stormy seas of destiny or invite new storms of his own? With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Kutaro had proven slicker than the Kraken, winning back the Trident and helping the god of the... Kutaro emerged victorious from the belly of Snake, whose attempts to blight the Moonwood had ended in a nasty case of indigestion. Our hero was ready for more Moonstone Shards, and Act 3 seems as good a place to find them as any. And so the story continues. With the snake's third piece of the moonstone in hand, Kutaro schlepped himself onward to the shores of a vast ocean, the Moonshine Sea. It was a dreadful realm full of pirates and monsters, and frothing up its waters at the moment was a roiling rivalry between Captain Gaff